Okay, that that went a bit weird. Anyway, uh, I pressed the button. Meh. But in uh, Heavy Rain, when um, the dude's fighting uh, the other guy in the prostitute's room, that is way more entertaining. Um, way more entertaining than any of the fights in this game. Um, the animation's beautiful. Oh, the animation. It's just motion capture. Motion capture's alright. The, sometimes it's a bit weird, but the, um, the graphics are just mind-blowingly awesome, but that gets old when the gameplay gets worse and worse as the game gets on. Like, it starts off okay, and any time that it goes back to Heavy Rain style, uh, stuff, it, it really works. Like, they dabble in it, and it's kind of weird when they do, it's like, oh, to climb... I gotta do a quick time event, and this kind of feels right to do it here. Okay, man, this is like heavy rain, this is cool. And then it doesn't, it changes out to the new way of doing it, and I mean, it's props for trying something new, but I paid a hundred bucks, and I feel ripped off. Oh, the ending is so bad. <laughs> the ending's like ludicrous. It just... Uh, you know, there's no setup and payoff. There's just, boom, something happens. It's badly written, badly scripted. Good acting, good actors, you know. But the, ah, oh, the script is horrible. All the worst things, the things that kind of made you cringe in Heavy Rain that I overlooked because I was so into it, you know. Um, he hooked me with the emotion, but in... Beyond Two Souls, the pulling of the strings, the pulling of emotional strings, were way too obvious. And I was like, oh, this is, this is hammy. Like, the acting was either, you know, intensely, you know, oh, please, no, or shouting. You know, nobody's talking at a normal level because it's all like, highlights in it. I didn't mind the going around in time that thing. That was fine. That that worked, you know. Um in, in terms of like it's not a linear game, but I'll tell you what, it is a linear game. Maybe may not be linear timeline wise, um in terms of what time you play it. Suddenly she's fifteen, suddenly she's ten or something, you know. Um but yeah, it just, I don't know. And some of the item stuff, like when you possess someone, the action stuff, when you're, when you're not doing a quick time event, it just reminds you that you're playing, you're playing a game that is kind of trying to hybridize the action and sorry, but that's not their strong point. Their strong point is heavy rain. You know, their strong point is, I liked Fahrenheit as well, uh, Indigo Princess or whatever. Um, but yeah, their strong point is not action. Uh, it really isn't. And, um, for the next game, I hope they don't try to recreate the, um, where is it that they go where she's on the mission and sneaking around. I ran past people that they would have detected me if it was more realistic just to see if they would and they didn't detect me and I don't know there didn't seem to be any consequence to me playing dirty or not and towards the end of the game sorry I have an itchy nose uh, towards the end of the game I just really went alright alright just get this game over with I really was like <laughs> can we finish I just want to get through it, right, you know, and it just, um, yeah, I've never felt that about, <laughs> about a game where I was like, I really want to finish this game, just finish it, I don't want it to go on any longer, you know, yet, I don't want to not finish the game, either, um, the twist is good, the twist is the only good thing about the ending, 
which I won't spoil, about Aiden, right? But uh, there are so many jumping of sharks. There are so many logic problems. Like they're trying to uh, trying to build this thing that'll open a gateway to the other side, right? And um, where spirits and stuff live, but also like creepy demony stuff, like insidious stuff, live there too, and uh, and it fucks up one point, and then they make later on you find out oh they made a bigger one. Cause that's smart. After the events of the last one fucked up, I uh. But this one was more stable. Who cares? After the events of the last one, why would you even think? It's a oh, there's so much energy there. Huge creature tentacle things, like um, like Final Fantasy uh, Spirit Within style things coming at you. That is not a smart thing to do. It didn't make any sense. Didn't make any sense. Wilm Defoe's arc was not well played out. Anyway, Grand Theft Auto V is has the best animation. I have to say, I've seen in the game best graphics. Let's go on to Grand Theft Auto V. Here's the thing. I'm gonna keep it short. I'm just not into it. I'm not into the characters or the gameplay. The animation and, and 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 graphics are great, but I don't know. It just it just is like it really is a sandbox game. It's like here's a huge area, right? Have fun, do whatever you want, wherever you want. And I'm like, mm, that's not why I liked Grand Theft Auto Four, and not why I liked Red Dead Redemption. Um, I liked that it was constricted to a certain area and then it opened up and kind of got used to the controls and kind of get used to the feel. But, I mean, I guess this is more like uh, original Grand Theft Autos of, of, of yesteryear where it would be, you know, you did have just, here's Liberty City and here's, you know, have fun. Um, but yeah, anyway... Not my thing, so I'm getting rid of them, and coming up in a few uh, week or so, um, Halloween, on top of that, on top of um, coolness, I'm getting uh, Batman and Assassin's Creed 4, uh, and I'm getting uh, Assassin's Creed 4 from uh, JB Hi-Fi, uh, doesn't come with a cool ship you know, model guy on the model thing, not the Buccaneer edition, it's the Skull edition, but, uh, that they've got, but they've also got, with the Skull edition, it comes with a tankard, with the Assassin's Creed symbol on it, and that's practical, you know, that's, that's not just a fun thing, that's gonna actually, I'll be able to have actual, you know, party-ness with it, so, be like a pirate, and have a beer while I play Assassin's Creed. Gonna be fun. Gonna be fun. Um, Batman, I'm hugely looking forward to, though. More so than anything. So, fun, fun, fun. But, I'm telling you, Wolf, Wolf Among Us, get it. Get it now. Like, I, I had not had that much fun playing a game since Walking Dead. Um, seriously. Uh, and if you haven't played the Back to the Future game that Telltale Games have made, get that too. Because cause that is just amazing. That Story-wise, that is amazing. And it's very much like an adventure game. Uh, so it, it, it doesn't... It, and it has kind of some of those things that make you go wow about Walking Dead and um, that people remember certain things about you. Um, certain actions that you made but not to the extent of Walking Dead game. So, yeah. Um, and I got um, the deluxe edition of uh, of Fables. So that's, yeah. And Fables is cool. If you haven't read the comics, don't worry. It's set before the comics. So uh, go for it. 
Uh, one thing I will recommend though, um, when playing the game, something I didn't do, whenever it pops up on the uh, on the top kind of corner, and it says uh, you just unlocked the Book of Fables, uh, check out the book because. I thought I knew my fairy tales, and there's a couple that I'm like, huh, who, what? Um, particularly Bluebeard, because um, there's things where people will talk about Bluebeard, and if you don't read that book of fables, it doesn't explain to you through dialogue who he is. So uh, just go into the menu and check out the book. Uh, once you check out his uh, file, when you get to your apartment, um, yeah, you'll get that uh, thing up in the corner and it says, check out the book. Oh, you got a new book of fables. Check out that, check out that bit of info. Um, and to get the final, uh, there's a final trophy that people are finding hard to get. Um, you just have to go back to the one of the final decisions that you made and choose the opposite kind of the renegade or paragon, you know, the good or the bad, uh, the something that's a bit more vicious, a bit more big bad wolf or the kind of like, uh, give someone a break, but not a literal one. So, um, to get the two, um, the final book of fables, uh, which, you know, I was confused. So you can find YouTube videos about it. It's all good. Um, yeah, that's my spiel. Uh, let me know what you want to talk about in the comments below. Catch you later. Bye.